Hi everyone, it's Epsketch, your fashion drawing tutorials, and in this lesson we're going to learn how to draw this dress from Elisa Fall 2014 Couture Collection. So I'm starting drawing the sketch. I'm, I'm placing the head a bit to the right, so I can show uh, your skirt and the back of the skirt on the left. And usually my head has dimensions of two and a half to one and a half centimeters. And there are like some face tutorials on fsketcher.com and uh, on YouTube as well. And I'm using one of hairstyles that I used in the uh, article on fsketcher.com with the 10 hairstyles. So the link is under the video. So I'm drawing her body and here she's going to have the belt at her waistline. So I don't need actually to draw her uh, legs. And uh, distance until her waistline is four and a half centimeters. And until her neck is one and a half centimeters. So that's the shape of her skirt. As you can see, I drew one big fold in the center and added some two folds on the left and one smaller fold on the right. Next, I'm showing her fur. So let's, uh, since she's holding a glass of wine, I'm gonna push her fur a little bit up and then I'm drawing her hands. So please watch in the full screen mode so you can see everything that I'm doing. And look at the hemline. As you can see, front fold, I drew it a bit lower since closer to us. And back folds are like uh, just like stairs. They go further and further and uh, I draw them a bit higher. So here I'll have some gentlemen. So let's start rendering. I'm using Baby Pink Pro Marker, which is just going to color uh, the upper body first. Going next, I'm using Ruby and partially coloring your fur coat because I want to use uh, two different reds. So Ruby is a bit cold. And I want to use berry red. Ruby has something of a pink color, while berry red is closer to orange, it's warmer. So now using the same Ruby, making these dots and I draw more dots in the dark area where we have shadows, the outline of your sleeves, of your bodies, uh, closer to the fine liner. So now I spread ruby, take uh, baby pink, previous pink color, and mixing it with ruby and making these transitional dots. Now using burgundy and again mostly coloring uh, in the areas with shadows. Next, with a fine liner, I'm going to scribble, just n not drawing anything special to add the texture. Because we have their lace with stones, so to show that there is lace underneath. I also drew some dots, like with uh, just black dots. Now I'm using correction pen, uh, try to get these dots. So a little bit of cool gray five for the shadows. Okay, so let's start working with your fur. For that, you'll need several pencils. I use the Prismacolor oil pencils. And uh, first I'm working on the edges to show the texture, to show the 
hair of the fur so I'm uh, making this uh, very soft strokes and then on the top and it gives this really fox texture, very soft fur. And I draw quite long strokes on the top. So now I'm using white pencil because uh, some hair is reflecting light. And uh, dark, also like a wine color pencil, reddish brown. Here and there I'm making some rows of uh, dark fur. and just a little bit of black, mostly in the center. More of the wine color. And again, white and red. using the same ruby for her belt. Okay, so her skirt. I'm using uh, baby pink, the pink that I used before. And as you can see, I didn't color everything. Okay, so here uh, saffron. So I'm going to color partially with pink and partially with saffron this skirt. So we have this beautiful uh, gradient of two colors. And I actually like that my marker strokes are visible, that it's not completely solid color. It's just uh, the same as watercolors, has some artistic look. Next, with cool gray 5, I'm adding some shadows. And next, take burgundy color and we can work with uh, adding dots. Okay, so you draw more dots at the top and you draw less as you go down. And as you can see, I'm drawing them in clusters of like 5-4. Next, I'm using Ruby. And I'm drawing more on the top again and less at the bottom. I'm drawing some dots with cool gray 5. And now mixing pink color with ruby and I want to add more of the tint because I feel like this skirt is too pale. So uh, mixing pink with ruby and coloring over. So now adding again texture with a fine liner, just scribbling, scribbling more where it's darker and scribbling less where it's lighter and adding some uh, dots like circles, not dots, because I'm not coloring inside. With a correction pen, I'm adding some glitter. And uh, more of the dots with burgundy. Okay, so next we will need some ice gray and uh, like ice gray too. And I want to add uh, really dark shadows. I really want to darken this skirt because uh, still not satisfied with the overall color. It's, uh, it looks lighter than the original design of Elisa. So now I'm spreading burgundy, mixing uh, pink with Ruby and with burgundy with both colors 
and just spreading more and more. Working the same way as uh, with the paint, you just mix with different tints and you, you get different colors mixed and it looks much better. The, I don't color everything, as you can see I left some parts uh, with a saffron, so because we still need to show the highlights. And in the same way I added tint at the back, more of uh, ice gray. Here you can use ice gray too or cool gray too. Uh, just drawing some circles. So here I'm using some orange. And while it's still wet, I'm using pink to blend it slightly and uh, make a really smooth transition from orange to the rest. So here it's really important to work fast. More of the circles. Basically I'm outlining some of those uh, dots. And you can draw some just circles separately. Okay, so now again adding glitter on those dots. Those are actually stones, so we need to make them shine. Okay, so back part is still pale, so I'm again adding orange, mixing pink with it, leaving the edges of the false light, and here the center because it's facing us adding some burgundy inside of the folds. Just spreading pink over it. Okay, just adding some pencil strokes. To render black hair, I usually use some purple or blue base to show the highlights later. So here we have wine using burgundy like a wine color and ruby, same colors, bit of dark gray. Okay, so first here I'm adding some black and I'm leaving the path of light on the top and then the and on the top of your curve, curl, or wave. And then I'm adding darker grays between black and light area. And drawing some hair with pencil. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe to FSketcher channel, follow FSketcher on Patreon for more exclusive content, and see you next tutorial.